Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Xiaomi Mi Bluetooth neckband earphones. These are the basic, also known as the Youth Edition, and it sells for 40 bucks uh, online right now, so pretty affordable. So it's a neckband style very similar to the LG Tone that was released uh, a few years back, and most of the weight and battery is supported inside of this arm which rests on your collarbone as you're wearing it, as opposed to inside of the earphones themselves, which makes them a bit more lightweight. Now the interesting thing about these is, first of all, the design of the earphones themselves, as you can see, is semi-in-ear. That's interesting because we reviewed a pair from Xiaomi uh, that's very similar in terms of design. These are called the Mi Dual Driver earphones, and they sell for only 15 bucks, also super cheap, but this is essentially a wired uh, pair of uh, earbuds that's uh, using 3.5 millimeters, and they just decided to basically make this into a wireless pair. A newer format has been True Wireless Earbuds, which Xiaomi has also released in the form of the AirDots and the AirDots Pro, so they have uh, several different options now for wireless earbuds. Now for about the same price, the Youth Edition versus the Redmi AirDots, I suspect that the neckband might have slightly better audio quality, just because it's a little bit larger and probably has more room for a dedicated driver and uh, more parts and components that they don't have to cram into as small of a space. Some specs are printed on the back and now it lasts for up to seven hours of playback on a single charge. That's a longer per charge compared to the Air Dots, which lasts for about three hours. Since they are the Youth Edition, it also comes in other colors, like this vibrant popping orange. Here's what we get inside of the box. We have just the neckband itself, and we also have a tab inside, such as a flat ribbon wire for the micro USB charging, and also a entire user manual. Reason number three why I find these to be interesting is I think it's Xiaomi's reaction to brands like Meizu, which had success with the EP52, and they also made an EP52 Lite, which we reviewed a few months back. Uh, they actually sold a lot of these units uh, before True Wireless Earbuds really took off. I think that's part of the reason why Xiaomi saw this success and wanted to make a competitor. Just like on some of the other neckband styles that we've checked out recently, this version here is very malleable in terms of the rubber plastic, so you can actually fold it down and still make it pretty easy for transportation, and it just fits over the back of your neck. Uh, the two part is made out of a very shiny polycarbonate plastic that's the same shine and texture as the earbuds themselves. In terms of keys and controls, they're actually integrated on the uh, bottom portion of the neckband as opposed to on a remote. On here is where we have the volume control, pretty tactile and responsive, and a dedicated power key that you can hold for a few seconds to enter the pairing mode. On the side here you have a rubber flap that covers up the micro USB port for charging. The only place where we have the Xiaomi branding is on the rubber on the other side. Uh, on the back here we have just the Mi logo and you can see it's kind of contoured as well to uh, be more conforming to the shape of your neck. Now the again aforementioned earbuds and themselves have the same semi-in-ear design as the kind of Apple AirPods, as well as the aforementioned Xiaomi 3.5 millimeter dual driver uh, earbuds that we saw, the basic edition. This implies a few things. The comfort of wearing them will be very high just because like the Apple AirPods, they're not going to be tight at all. Uh, you can simply stick them out and remove them super easily. So it's going to be very light and allow for some audio transparency so you can still hear some of the noises around you. Uh, on the downside, however, it doesn't have the tightest seal like these traditional silicon tips that you need to stick in, uh, which means that you probably won't get the best noise isolation. I'll also point out that these don't have a magnetic end cap, so they don't actually stick together like some of the competitors on the market, but again, a very interesting uh, futuristic design. Everything is made out of polycarbonate plastic, and I think it's one of the only pairs of neckband style wireless headphones that has this semi in ear design as opposed to being fully in ear. Moving into audio quality and performance, there's plenty to like here. For one, there's a good amount of bass, surprisingly, despite lacking a tight seal on your ears. So on certain tracks like EDM type music, it still performs better than expected. The area where they sound better than the Redmi Air Dots 
is in distortion. In other words, if you turn the volume all the way down and listen super closely, there is zero hissing or static in the background, which is just very common for wireless headphones in general, but on these, they sound extremely clean, kind of like the Jivo uh, neckband style earphones that we just reviewed as well. These were also extremely clean sounding, but that's because the Jivo uses Bluetooth 5.0, but these are still using Bluetooth 4.2, so it's quite impressive that Xiaomi was able to achieve this effect. These do have a very natural sound, so mids and highs in particular I found to be very impressive. So playing back instrumentals, playing back vocals, uh, guitars, acoustic sounds, it actually is very bright sounding and just uh, quite immersive and enjoyable. You can definitely wear these for hours and hours without noticing any stress or strain, because one thing I kind of underestimated was really how comfortable and lightweight these earbuds would be. You can barely feel their presence when you're wearing them, and uh, pretty much it's invisible, which is awesome. The controls themselves I also found to be quite ergonomic and easy to tap on for changing volume. Again, something that's a little harder to do on TWS earbuds. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Xiaomi neckband style Bluetooth headphones, the light slash youth edition. And for the money, I think that they actually perform better than expected, especially if you're looking for a semi in your design. So if you are wearing these and you're walking down a street, maybe in San Francisco, New York, uh, you can definitely be more careful, which is a good thing. So if you just want something casually for walking around, as opposed to being something for jogging or vigorous movement and exercise, then something like this can still be perfectly acceptable as a commuter or everyday style pair of wireless headphones. So you can check out more details, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Xiaomi Mi Bluetooth neckband earphones, the basic or youth edition.